you might be familiar with the term lazy loading especially you know if you have worked with entity framework uh, you might know what uh, lazy loading is uh, it means it means basically load whenever you actually uh, need it i'm going to explain a different problem which we have faced in one of the applications uh, that i've worked with uh, you know it's a it's basically a very huge application and um, we were injecting all the dependencies uh, and as the application is uh, huge and it has a lot of dependencies when the application loading up it will instantiate all uh, the injected uh, dependencies but there are few um, object uh, the creation of uh, those objects are you know it was uh, pretty really really very expensive and uh, that was actually uh, slowing up the application so we have we have decided to refactor it further and we decided to uh, you know uh, instantiate the object only when uh, it is actually required uh, by do doing that you know we can actually save the application loading time and whenever the object is actually required uh, it will create the uh, object of that basically uh, it will uh, lazy load um, create it whenever it is actually required uh, that's what we did uh, behind the scenes the entity framework it it it, it will lazy load like that um, you know load only when it is it is required so I'm going to show here. I'm, I'm not going to, uh, you know, do the whole dependency injection and all those uh, kind of thing. I'm not going to do here. But I'm trying to show how we can um, lazy load the object which we are creating. So if the object creation is actually expensive, you can go for it. You can lazy load your object. Then the application loading a time will be will be very very slow. Uh, so that's what that's what I'm going to uh, do here. When you look at look at uh, this piece of code, it's pretty obvious how this will work. First, it will write um, this line of code, then it'll create the object, and it will go to the constructor. Write this line of code, and obviously the last line of code. Ah, uh, this is pretty obvious, and that's how it works. So let me run uh, this code just to show. Okay, um, everything works as expected. Uh, it line uh, wrote all these kinds of code in in uh, the correct order. Uh, that's fine. Now assume, uh, just assume, the cost of this object creation, cost of employee object object creation is pretty uh, very expensive. It takes a lot of time. Then uh, that is slowing up your application. Just assume that. Okay, uh, and you you uh, are injecting uh, the dependencies to different parts of the application. So just assume that. Okay, um, now I want to lazy load that object. How we can do that? Um, it's it's pretty simple. Um, there's a generic implementation of lazy t. That's under system namespace, and I'm just uh, you know um, create a lazy uh, of employee object and when you when you see here when I run this line of code you might assume or you might think uh, again it will work the same way which ran uh, before but actually it will not let me run aha you can see here um, it didn't write this line of code employee object created application started then application has, has ended so what happened well because now we are lazy loading the object and we are not actually using the object so this constructor executes only when we start using the object so let me use it then employee dot value this is how we use the object of a lazy loaded object okay so now when i run this ah this type object has created the reason because we are actually using the object so that's the whole concept of um, lazy loading you know um, load whenever it is it is required so in your application uh, the cost of an object creation is pretty really expensive you can actually go for lazy loading and uh, by doing that uh, the application application loading time will be uh, pretty pretty low so you can improve the performance of application loading then whenever the object is really required uh, it will uh, it will create it you know create only when it is it is required so yeah that's the whole point of uh, lace loading an object the custom object which you are creating um, yeah that's what i want to show today thank you